This video is brought to you by our insane new CSGO skin loadout giveaway we are running with IG Vault, where we're giving away an Autotronic Karambit, Cyrex M4, Redline AK-47, and Redline Op, all factory new, and all for you guys to possibly win. To get more details, be sure to check out the gleam.io or Twitter link in the description to find out how to enter. It's super quick and you don't have to sign up for anything. You most likely have never heard of these seven Counter-Strike games. My name is Buckeye, and welcome to Valve Guides. There are very few games that have accomplished as many feats over such a long period of time, like Valve's premier FPS title, Counter-Strike. What started as a Half-Life mod created by two fans who wanted to create a more realistic gaming experience, quickly turned into one of the most profitable and well-recognized game franchises ever, that without a doubt has made an insane impact on the gaming industry as a whole. With that being said, any franchise that has lasted for over 16 years is bound to have some not so great creations that would want to be swept under the rug, and CS is definitely no exception to this. That's why today, we will be going back through the years to find 7 versions of Counter-Strike you most likely didn't know existed. So without further ado, grab your Xbox controllers and arcade tokens, and let's hop right into this countdown. Counter-Strike Global Offensive Console Version Starting this list off at number 1, we have one of the newer, lesser known games in the franchise, being the console version of CSGO. This one is at the bottom of the list because if you're a CSGO fan, chances are you know the story that when originally developed, CSGO was actually meant to appeal to the console market. However, Valve eventually caved and decided to bring CSGO to PC, and over time, the focus was completely shifted to the point where the last update for CSGO on console was the one that brought it to Xbox One's backwards compatibility feature. Other than that though, this is the most bare bones version of CSGO, which is probably why you've never heard of it until now. Because this game lacked features such as skins and other markets key features that make CSGO, well, CSGO, the game simply never took off on console. And while it is kind of unfortunate that they never got to experience CS to its full potential, at least the lack of success in those markets made Valve focus completely on making it the best it can on PC. Counter-Strike on Xbox. Speaking of console ports you forgot about, at number 6 we have the original Counter-Strike on the original Xbox. <laughs> You thought the orange box was the first attempt to bring Valve games to consoles? Well, in 2002 and 2003, Valve brought both the original Half-Life and Counter-Strike to Xbox. Counter-Strike on Xbox was actually one of the first shooters to take advantage of the new Xbox Live service, even if we don't know particularly how many people played it. Why haven't you heard of it until now? Probably because one year after Counter-Strike hit the Xbox, games like Halo 2 came out that were tailor-made for console and murdered its shooter competition on Xbox. A cage match Counter-Strike just couldn't keep up with and was promptly left behind when the Xbox servers were shut down in 2010. It seems as much as Valve has tried to make it work, CS simply just will never work on consoles. Moving on to number 5, we have the often forgotten about expansion to Counter-Strike 1.6, Counter-Strike Condition Zero. We already talked about this game in our top 10 Valve mistakes, but here's the lowdown. Valve released an expansion to Counter-Strike in the same year that it released Counter-Strike sequel, Counter-Strike Source. That, when combined with the glut of FPS releases that year like Halo 2, Unreal Tournament 2004, and Half-Life 2, to, ensured that Counter-Strike Condition Zero was quickly forgotten within a year of launch only to be remembered when a certain writer is trying to find something worth talking about when it comes to Valve and Counter-Strike. Counter-Strike Online Switching gears into something slightly more present day, we have Counter-Strike Online. In 2008, Valve decided to expand its influences overseas to South Korea because, hey, it, it worked for StarCraft, right? So they licensed the Counter-Strike name to the Nexon Corporation, which took Condition Zero, spruced it up, and made it free to play, and added microtransactions to it, and called it Counter-Strike Online. Online. To its credit, Nexon has added things like a zombie mode, playable characters who have some rather generous portions, and even an attack on Titan crossover, which- wait, what? Um, well, it, that said though, CSO was successful enough to receive a sequel, which leads us to Counter-Strike Online 2, the follow-up to the Counter-Strike Online. CSO 2 isn't a port of CS Source, but instead CSGO, and even then, Nexon rebuilt CSGO assets from the ground up. Released in 2013, CSO2 brings in something rarely seen in the Counter-Strike franchise, a campaign mode, which is really just a series of scenarios with some justification of why you're here, kind of like Battlefield 1942 if anyone remembers that. Well, it keeps the rather, um, 
proportional character designs, it seems to remove the zombies mode, and if you're wondering why, well, stick around for number two on the list, being Counter-Strike Nexon Zombies. Counter-Strike Nexon Zombies. To be honest, when we were looking up topics and saw this, our minds were completely blown. But then we collected them and realized this is likely just Counter-Strike Online Zombies modes taken and expanded on. And lo and behold, we were right. You have your traditional survival modes, and then you have PvP deathmatches in which one group are survivors and the other group are zombies, similar to infection mode from the Halo franchise, if anyone has played that from what we can tell. What makes CS Zombies notable though is that it's not available in Asia, meaning that this game was Nexon's way of breaking into the West, meaning you can actually go and download it right now if you want. Did it succeed? Well, according to Steam reviews, it did, but we'll let you be the judge of that yourself. I mean, it is free, so what do you have to lose, right? Finally, moving on to our number one spot, we have none other than the obscenely obscure Counter-Strike Neo. Think Counter-Strike Online was the first attempt to appeal to the Asian market? Well, think again. As 2005's Counter-Strike Neo proves in its attempt to reach a very untapped market by FPS, the Japanese arcade. You heard it right folks, a first person Counter-Strike arcade game. Now you might want to be asking yourselves, who is the publisher of this bizarre project? Well look no further than the kings of arcade games in their own right, Namco. The creators of classics such as Pac-Man and Tekken, to explain this off the wall game the best we possibly can, it's basically Counter-Strike but on an arcade machine and formatted for the Japanese market. And by that we mean there are no terrorists, it's futuristic, and everyone looks like an anime character, which sounds about par for the course. As crazy as this game sounds, it seems to have a lot of concepts for a Counter-Strike game that we would love to try out for ourselves, and we encourage you to go check out some of the gameplay down below in the description. While it may not particularly pique your interest as far as CS games go, let's face it, you probably never thought that this would even exist until we told you, and to be frank, neither did we until we saw it in action. Thank you guys so much for watching, if you would like to see more content like this three times a week, be sure to subscribe to Valve Guides for more. And also, don't forget to sign up for our insane skin giveaway where we are giving out an Autotronic Karambit, Cyrix M4, Redline AK-47, and Redline Op, all factory new, and all for you to possibly win. To get more details, be sure to check out the Gleam.io or Twitter link in the description to find out how to enter. It's super quick and you don't have to sign up for anything. Once again, thanks so much for watching and we will see you guys in the next one.